a pleasure to be here with Sanjita Biswas ma'am welcome to the Kolkata Literature mm-hmm. Festival you are going to be part of a session that talks about the book of fistful of moonlight which is stories about mm-hmm. assamese women about assam in general mm-hmm. translated into english what are you most looking forward to in the session what aspects mm-hmm. of the conversation do you want to put forward uh firstly i'm very happy to be on this platform because uh you know people uh, would be like i i'm quite sure would like to uh, hear a little about assamese uh, short fiction and in translation so uh, uh, i w- would uh, love to talk about translation as pisavi assamese literature why it is so important why translation opens the world uh not only reading public but you know people will be knowing about a socio cultural uh, scenario of assam so maybe uh, i'll have an opportunity to talk all these things of late we've seen a lot of translations happening from regional languages into english this book fair this festival itself has hosted multiple sessions about translation so do you think we are sort of entering a boom in terms of translating works from indian regional languages into english and vice versa <laughs> uh see i must say when uh, i personally started out translating say uh, 80s or 90s from then uh, to this stage there is a fast improvement firstly when a uh, sahitya academy started bhasha translation project in 50s from that stage and now because uh, not only that that very good thing lots of translated books are now a part of prize uh, you know various uh, organizations and publications are giving prizes so uh, translation is getting a uh, a lot more focus uh, if you are aware i don't know uh, in the past even the translator name was never uh, in the first page or or the das jacket you have to go and search for the name somewhere in the second or third page from that stage to today uh there is a fast difference of course uh, winning awards like booker prize you know or gitanjali sri the people's interest has also grown a lot in the uh, regional or bhasha uh, uh, languages in india yeah as someone who's been associated with translation for so long who's done a variety of translations what would you say have been your biggest challenges when it comes to translating a work and how does that relate with what we call transcreation where a translator has to put forward their own imaginative vision you are right because today uh, people do not see uh, translation as just word to word translation it is more transcreation because it is also a creation by the translator he or she has to be in constant uh, in conversation with the writer and also you know you have to take the challenge of uh, what shall i say what word has to be kept in own language what to be translated i'll give you a small example uh, when we read in bangla or assam is mama and then he said kaka or khura in assam is if you translate just uncle in both terms actually in indian context the whole relationship doesn't come through so you have to take a kind of you know uh, all the time make decisions so sometimes what we do at least i do when i say uncle then i give a little explanation uh, he is or her mother's brother because as you know uh, if one is a bengali you will know mama bari jawa is a whole different context so it, and also it brings out the nuance of the local language that's what i think is a challenge but it's a very good challenge because you also challenge yourself all the time wonderful thank you so much ma'am have a great time at klf